Okay, so we're going to look at a nice, easy little riff, uh, Run To You by Brian Adams. So we've got three uh, three positions with the hand. Also, uh, get the tabs below in the little picture in the comments. So we've got three positions. The first one is putting our first finger on the fifth string, second fret. So you can see that. Normally a lot of you play that for an E minor 7. So that's our first position. The second one is keeping that there and putting your second finger up here so you've got a G shape with just two fingers. So that's the second position. Now the third one is to move this shape up two frets. So one, two. That's our third position. So let's just practice them again. First position, just that finger on its own. Second one, you put that there. Third one, you move it up two frets. So you may want to pause this and just practice that a few times because if you can memorise these three movements, one, two, three, it'll make this a hell of a lot easy. So I'm going to play it to you and then I'm going to break it down. Here we go. So. Sounds pretty nice and uh, it's one of them that sounds really good and it's not actually that hard. So we're going to start with our first position and with this you're going to pick the first three strings in order. So the top string, then the fifth string, and then the fourth string. So it does three notes. One, two, three. And then the next bit we're going to stay on this uh, chord shape and we're going to go down the notes and then we're going to go back up on this time so this is the second bit of this where you go down and then back up so when you go down you don't hit this uh, fourth string you don't hit that twice you don't go you don't want to do that you only hit this once so you're going down and then back up so, so I'm going to play that together, so you go down, one, two, three, and then you start again by going down and then up. Do that again, so down three notes, and then down and up. So the timing for that is continuous, it's da, da, da. Da, 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 da. It's not da, 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 da. There's no gap in it. So I'm going to play that to you. Okay. So the second half of it is we put our finger on there and play a G shape. And we're just going to go down three notes. We'll have the same pattern as the uh, the previous riff we've done and then we move up to the last shape and then we're going to go down and up so remember don't hit the so you got the sixth string fifth string and fourth string don't hit the fourth string twice because i see this a lot Where you're going down and you think you've got to go up so you start in playing that string twice you just go straight down and then up okay so that is the G shape here you go down three notes move the fingers up and go down and up now there can't be a gap in between them two so this is where it's better to take it slow and get rid of the gap rather than going like this. Okay, you can play both bits fast, but it's the gap in between you want to consolidate. So the best way to do it is to go slow so you can get the change. Listen. Give you a chance to get to that note. Okay, so I'm going to play the whole thing really slow. You can watch this again. 
you can look at the tab music as well any questions about the tab I've done a read tab music little video a couple of weeks ago if you're stuck on that I'll just forward it and post it to you again here we go Okay, hope you enjoy that one.